Hey, we're back on the Friends of Kevin Radio Show. We have Tom Blonsky from the Hampshire Catholic Charities with us. Tom, welcome to the Friends of Kevin Radio Show. Thank you. Tom, as we were joking a little bit before the show, everybody's heard of the Catholic Charities. Everybody's heard of you. Right. If, if, we, if we walk down Main Street here and say, what do they do? I'm not really sure. So why don't we start a little bit about some of the services you provide so people get a better feel for it. Okay. Um, we are the uh, only Catholic Charities in New Hampshire. Uh, normally, Catholic Charities are specific to each diocese, so sure. we're the only one in New Hampshire. Um, we serve 1 in 13 people in the state. Wow. So in, in Sauhegan, the Sauhegan Deanery, specifically 11,703 people. That's about 12% of the people we serve around the state. It's amazing. And uh, we have eight nursing facilities around the state. We have independent living, assisted living, um, a home care agency. We have Our Place, a program for uh, teens and young adults who are dealing with pregnancy, and we have a clinical and parenting education component there. Uh, That uh, is a program that is based in Nashua and in Manchester. We have 10 district offices that offer counseling and community outreach programs. Uh, immigration and refugee legal services. We have five attorneys on staff that help with the p- period of adjustment or green card status to naturalization or citizenship status. Uh, the food bank, which is the only food bank in the state that serves in Nashua, 30 specific uh, food pantries and programs in Nashua. I didn't know um, Catholic Charities and Hampshire Food Bank are related? The, f- the food bank was started or founded by Catholic Charities in 1984, well, correct? I never knew that. Right. That's amazing. Again, like you said, if we're walking on a street... Most people may have assumed, like I did, that you had involved in the food and a, and a little bit of ministry, but I would mm-hmm. have missed most of this. Yeah, we also have St. Charles Children's Home in, in Rochester. So how are you guys funded then? Because it sounds like it's a pretty big operation. Yep. We are funded. Um, the food bank does not receive any federal or state funding, for example. You often will see Melanie Goslin, our executive director, on TV or in an ad with the governor uh, trying to raise funds, and we are predominantly supported by foundations or corporations and many uh, individuals, so we're very uh, blessed in that uh, uh, in that regard. Um, many of our other programs are also dependent on individuals and uh, corporate donors. The nursing homes, for example, receive uh, Medicaid. About uh, two-thirds of our funding comes from Medicaid for the nursing homes. Uh, we have private pay, third-party insurance, um, uh, Things like that. So we, we're funded in in, in various ways. So in various how, how ways. big is is the Hampshire Catholic Charities, like employee wise, funding wise? It's a huge organization. We're, we're uh, about a sixty seven million dollar organization, about a thousand employees. Wow. Yeah. Never would have guessed that either. Yeah. yeah. I'm so glad you came on the show today. Thank you. Now, how is it different from some of the other agencies out there? Uh, our programs are based on. Uh, our values for the dignity of life, the dignity of the individual, the dignity of family, the dignity of work. And while we value the dignity of life from conception until natural death, the majority of the work that we do is with that hyphen in between. So that's always really the, the driving force behind all that we do is, is the dignity issue. And a lot of that drives um, the uh, conversation of, of sitting someone down and really um, working to get them towards independence, You know, trying to break that cycle of dependency. I really like that and stuff because, you know, I'm involved in a, in a lot of causes like um, the food pantry in my town. And it's often interesting because you have to take the approach to serve without judgment. Absolutely. And it can be tough some days. Yeah. You know, but, you, you know, that's not why you're there. You know, you're there right. to serve and stuff. So it's yeah. kind of interesting. Um any idea how many people you serve? I mean, it sounds like a pretty um, tough question, actually. We serve one in 13 in yep. our state. Yeah, so well over 100,000. It just every it year. is, you know, like I said, the impact you're having. So what is the impact of your programs on people in New Hampshire then? Uh, like I said, we um, we serve people from uh, from all faiths, all socioeconomic backgrounds. That's another misperception is that we're only serving Catholics. Catholics right. We don't only serve Catholics. I mean, yeah. um, New Hampshire uh, is only about 20% Catholic, maybe 25% Catholic. The, wow. Um, so we serve people, whoever comes to our door, basically. And the impact varies. I mean, whether it's it's uh, helping someone to uh, make the choice of whether to heat or eat in the winter and providing them a meal or, or food, uh, so that they can uh, get on with their lives, or really sitting them down and creating a life plan with them to to address their future and how to how to address that legacy that they might want to leave for their child, or just how they uh, we can lead them towards independence. 